Hi there, I'm Juan from Porter and today I will show you how to automate your social media reports on Google Data Studio with a few hacks, with no code and in a matter of minutes. Let's get started. There are many ways to connect your social media data to Data Studio. One is free. You can simply go to Facebook, to YouTube and download the data. Then you bring that data into Google Sheets and then you can connect a Google Sheet to Google Data Studio for free. If you visit our website, you will find a template library where you can simply copy and paste these reports like this Facebook ad report, this social media report that combines LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, this Facebook insights, YouTube and everything. Our template gallery covers almost every use case or social media uh, analysis example. But I will start in another way. I will go here to Porter, then I will go to try for free and I will connect every data source individually. What is a data source? Instagram pages, Facebook pages, uh, LinkedIn pages, Twitter, YouTube, and so on. So here's the deal. Google Data Studio is free, and the Google connections such as YouTube, Google Ads, and Google Analytics are free as well. If you want to connect to third parties, there are providers like Potter and many others. Today, of course, I will show you Potter because this is our website and YouTube channel, uh, and because we are great as well. I will start with Facebook, and you will see that the process is pretty much the same. It takes a few clicks. Remember, you should be logged in to Google Data Studio. The process for connecting Facebook, Instagram, and whatever is the same. First, you will sign up with your Gmail account and then with your Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever profile because that way Porter or any provider can bring your accounts that you want to connect. Once I connected my Facebook profile for Facebook Insights, which is Facebook pages, I can choose a Facebook page. There is something special about our Google Data Studio connectors. You can choose multiple Facebook pages. What this means, if I go to Google Data Studio reports, I could know the total likes for multiple pages. That's special for franchises or companies with multiple brands and they want a consolidated report. Uh, but I will do it this time with just this page. Uh, okay, this is it. I just connected this Facebook page and then I will go to connect. Once I connect my Facebook pages to Data Studio, Data Studio will show me the fields and metrics I can bring and visualize. I will go directly to create a report. And here, create a report. In a few clicks, we have automated our Facebook pages reports. I will do the same exercise with Instagram and with LinkedIn. But remember, you can go to our YouTube channel and you will find a tutorial for every connection. We have a tutorial for Instagram pages and also for LinkedIn and for LinkedIn ads and many more things. In every video tutorial, we explain metrics and how to analyze the data. Today, it is more like an overview of the possibilities that you can do for automating social media reports. So I created my Facebook page report here. You can see that you can find multiple pages and reports for Facebook insights, but I will just simply will remove this tab. I will pin it. Now I will connect LinkedIn pages. I will do the same exercise and you will see that it is quite simple. Okay, here we are. We connected our LinkedIn page to Data Studio. This will show me the fields and metrics I can bring to Data Studio, and then I will go to create report. Okay, we have created our LinkedIn pages report on Google Data Studio. You can see that the process is super simple and it takes just a few clicks. Remember, with this method, we are creating a blank report. We need to do it from scratch. With the other method I showed you, with powermetrics.com, you can get started with a template. Here, I will start by connecting a data source. It could be Instagram, Facebook, or whatever. You know that the process is super simple. I will do it with Instagram Insights, and for that, I will type Potter. If you go with Potter, you will see that we have many connections for Shopify, for HubSpot, for many things, and I will choose Instagram Insights. What I will do is super simple. I will connect Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube on this report so we can have an overview of our social media performance. I will visualize followers, posts, uh, demographics, and many more things so you can see your possibilities. But remember, we have a video tutorial for every of these connectors so you can understand their metrics. I will do it with Instagram and I will choose an account and the account can be, for instance, uh, this one, thank you. And I will go to apply. Okay, by default, this created an error when I connected to Instagram, why? Because the dimension, the breakdown of my data is the picture of the account and the metric is tabs on email link. Tabs is for profile, not for the account, that's why it breaks, you cannot combine them. But I will use a metric that I can combine with account picture and that is followers. And I will close our support chat. By the way, you can download our support chat so you can get direct help on Data Studio with our team. I will 
close this thing. And now I will choose account follows and account total followers. This will display the total followers of this account and I will show you something super special. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. I am displaying the account picture and the total followers. This is great because you could create a report with the account picture of your customer and if you want to create a template, then every customer will have by default their own account picture. That's a way, an automatic way to make your report white label. That's a good idea. Now, I have Instagram connected and it works well. I have the total followers. I will connect Facebook and LinkedIn and you will see that it's super simple. I will go to resource. Once on resource, I will go to manage all data sources. In this report, I have just connected Instagram insights. I will add a new data source. And here I will go back to Potter and I will choose instead LinkedIn pages or Facebook pages. Now I will connect Facebook pages, the process is the same, I will go to Facebook Insights, then I will choose the page I want to visualize, in this case will be this one, and then I will go to Add, and Add to Report. So how can I display both Facebook and Instagram data in the same report? I will do something, I will go to Insert, a new scorecard. Okay, here is the thing. If I go to this chart, you will see that it is connected to Instagram Insights. And I will go here, and you will see that this one instead is connected to Facebook pages. And you can see it, you can see that it took a time to load uh, the data. So here I have Facebook, here I have Instagram, and you can see that we can have multiple data sources in the same view. If I would like to change this one, what I will do is go here, Facebook Insights, and instead I will click on Instagram Insights. That's everything you need to do. You just need to bring charts, whatever chart you want, and then you connect the data source you want to visualize. Here I visualize Facebook and here I visualize Instagram. Let's create some charts. But first I will connect YouTube and LinkedIn, but I won't do it in this video because you already know how to do it. Before continuing with this social media report, I will connect LinkedIn and YouTube, but you already know the process. So I will use the magic of edition and you will see the report ready. Okay, remember, if you want to learn Data Studio, we have a full tutorial where we show types of charts, uh, filters, advanced regular expressions, and all this stuff. Uh, but today, it is just an overview. So what I would like to do now is bring in followers for all these social accounts. So for this one, this is Facebook pages, and the name is followers or page likes. So let me look for this metric right now. Okay, for Facebook pages, the field is called followers. So here are some possibilities with Facebook pages. I can visualize my followers by age, by gender, and by country as well. But here, I will go with new followers and total followers. I want to display the total followers. What is the difference with new followers? Total followers is the total number of followers a page has. New followers shows me the number of new followers I have in a given period of time, this month, last week, or whatever. Here, I will visualize total followers. Okay, we can visualize the total followers of the Facebook page. Now I will do it with Instagram, so I will go to Control C and Control B. Okay, this is account follows, not followers. This is the number of accounts that this page follows, but not the other way around. I want to visualize the people who follow my Instagram profile. So it will be followers, and it will be account total followers. Here it is. Okay, let's do it for LinkedIn. So Control C and Control V and let's connect LinkedIn data and finally YouTube. So the data source instead of Instagram, it will be LinkedIn. And now we have the total followers for LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. I will show you a magic trick that you can do in Data Studio. What I will do is I, I will select all these metrics and I will show you something special. Control C and then what I will do is blend this data. What do you think that will happen? Exactly, nothing. I have the same number of followers for LinkedIn. Why is that? Because I haven't done the formula. I need to calculate the sum of LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, so I will create a new metric here. The new metric will be create field, and I will create a metric that is called total followers. And here we have, we have a metric that automatically calculates the total followers for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. This is not magic. This is a hack that you can do with Porter metrics without coding. I hope that you love this stuff because I, I like it a lot, by the way. Uh, now, let's do something else. We have the total followers. I want you to make this report more beautiful. Mine is 
doesn't look good actually, but you can go to our templates, they, they look better. Uh, now I will create some tables with post data. I go here and then we go to insert a table. So this new table has the blended data source connected. I will choose instead Facebook pages. Okay, for Facebook pages, we have a table, but it is not quite useful. I would like to visualize my post data. I recommend you this special feature called post image. You can display the images of your post. So post image, and let's see it. Here is. So the table breaks why you cannot combine post data with page data. It, it doesn't make sense. That's why it doesn't work. So the metric will be related with post. It could be post engagements or, or post shares or post likes. And here you have, you can visualize the post and the number of shares or engagements. And even you can display the comments people do on your Instagram posts. I will do exactly the same thing with Facebook pages. So I will go to Control C and Control V. So the first one is Facebook and the second one will be LinkedIn pages. That's the order. So this is fine. I have data for Facebook, for Instagram, but maybe our LinkedIn profile is not active during this month. Uh, what else I want to show you? So what are the next steps? You can see that creating your own report is super easy and you can make it even easier with our report templates. My recommended next step for you is go to our templates and create a copy of those social media templates. Once you have a copy, I will show you two tricks. How to create a copy of your reports yourself and how to create a PDF report. So how to do that? First, I will go to the view mode. This is exactly how the user will see this report. Of course, this one is ugly. You won't use this one, please. But I will create a copy of this report template. If you're an agency, for instance, you can automatically, as you can see, create multiple clients reports with multiple data sources. This is super special from Data Studio. Here, I will go to this icon and I will go to make a copy. And automatically, Google Data Studio will tie the original data source with the new data source for the new copy. If you want to replace this with a new Facebook page or a new LinkedIn page, you just need to do this. You just need to do this. I will go to Instagram Insights, they create a new data source, and the connection of the data works the same as, as we did before. I will leave it as it is. And then I will go to Copy Report. We created a copy of our report, and this may happen to you. I will show you how to solve it. Sometimes your data will break. The first thing I want to understand is why it breaks, so I will go to see details. And here this says, report configuration issue. Please select a valid combination of dimensions. So there is something that is not quite well. If I go here, this will say invalid dimension. Let's go to the original report to see what is going on. So here, this works. Why this one doesn't work? This is something that sometimes happens uh, on Google Data Studio. I will go to edit. When you edit the data sources, this is something that you will see. The images fields may be turned off. What you will do is go here, and then you will show these fields. This account picture, that's an image field, and the other one is post image, because Instagram also lets you bring your post images. And here, post image, and now click on show. Now I will close the data sources management tab and you will see that our chart is working correctly. You will follow the same process if this happens to you with these charts. I will show you one last thing and the next steps for your social media reports on Data Studio. I will go to view and here we have a beautiful report for social media. It is not beautiful but I wanted to show you how to create it yourself if you don't want to start from scratch, you have templates. I will go here and I will go to present. Here you can present the whole report to a client, to your team or to whatever. This is something special and new from Data Studio. Now I will show you how to generate a PDF version of your social media report and how to schedule the email delivery of your report. So for instance, every Monday at 10 a.m. you will send this report to your clients or to your team. I will go to Escape. And on share, I will go to this drop down and it will show me download report. With this function, I can create a PDF version. So I will go to download. I wait some seconds and this will create the PDF version. So I will click here and I will open. And here you have, we have a PDF version of our social media report. I will finish 
with how to schedule your email delivery. I will go back to share this drop down and schedule email delivery. I don't know if I am pronouncing it correctly, schedule, schedule, whatever. And I will say, I will send this to my email and maybe to someone else. I will send it to support of Porter Metrics. If you ever want support, just email us at support.portermetrics.com. That's everything. And I will say that I want to send this report daily at 8 a.m. and schedule. And every day I will get at 8 a.m. this report on Google Data Studio and a PDF version. In this video tutorial, I have some friendly reminders. Remember, if you don't want to start from scratch with reporting, you could use our social media report templates gallery for Data Studio and for Google Sheets. So you can just copy and paste these report templates. Also, for every connection, for LinkedIn, for Instagram, for Facebook, we have a dedicated tutorial so you can also understand not just how to connect your data, but understand the metrics and ideas to create reports for your team and for your clients and ways to analyze your data yourself. And finally, if you want to learn Google Data Studio, remember that our YouTube channel has everything you need to learn Data Studio from zero to advanced. If you want to keep learning about no code hacks or ideas to make better reports, remember to keep following Porter Metrics. I will see you. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.